Kaya palang ND May ND, walang ND May ND, walang ND May ND, walang ND What's up? So, Saksalukian, what's up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. What's up guys? Today, sabi ko sa inyo, di ba dapat may kulab ako? Pero, something came up um, that is going to um, go back sa, sa barko. Because as you, you know, as people don't know, my dad is a seafarer. So, expect tomorrow's vlog is going to be about having an OF w dad but today guys i guess we haven't done anything here uh related yet on this channel so we go over natin ko ano yung aking vlogging setup maybe some of you are curious about what my setup looks like at how this bokeh is done i'll cover that up so kapi muna tayo You know guys, it's always important to get good lighting. <laughs> Kaya gusto gusto ko dito sa mi part na to kasi ang ganda ng ilaw. Ewan ko lang kung, hindi ko lang sure kung tama yung tama ng ilaw sa akin sa mukha ko. Lagi yung tatandaan ng key to a good vlog is tamaan ng magandang ilaw dito sa mi. Kung saan ka man nakapwesto, humanap ka ng pinak... Humanap ka ng magandang lighting para laging tamaan ng face mo with your right shade here and the right shade over here. Always balance that. Kasi, I think yun ang magpapaganda sa mga vlogs mo. Oh, I gotta stop this. Kung bago ka nga pala sa channel ko, meron akong vlog squad. Composed si John Santana, si Nut Lubete, si Edmer Guanlao. Just the four of us. We haven't found our Hilly Dasovich yet. So wala pa kaming female na vlogger na kasama. Kasi we're actually looking for a vlogger na marunong mag B-roll. No, but seriously, naghanap kami ng vlogger na marunong mag B-roll na babae. Or siguro kahit makeup challenge, unboxing type of vlogger. Pero may alam sa, you know, sa B-roll. So kung, if you're watching right now, if you want to be part of the squad, you can comment down below. And of course, if you also are a fan of coffee, leave a like para alam ko kung ilan yung mga coffee lovers na nanonood ngayon sa you know, sa channel ko. So, yeah. Ang dami ko na namang daldal. Tara na, magpaligo na tayo ng aso. I'm just, you know, trying to pass time para hindi ko na mapaliguan. Pero I have no choice because they smell bad. They smell like a smell that you wouldn't want. They, they, they really smell bad. So, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Sorry sa chit chat. <laughs> Pang ilang take ko na to. Kasi medyo maraming ganap ngayon. But, i-share ko sa inyo ang aking vlog setup for the day. So, to start things off, ang gamit kong camera ay Canon M50. If you watch my previous vlogs, ginawan ko to ng short unboxing at napag-decide din mag-switch from the Canon 700D, which is ito. And, um, this was my previous mic kung nakikita nyo, yung Boya BY-MM1. Ngayon ang gamit kong mic Gamit ko yung Boya BM3031. Ang aking lens na gamit previously ay 10 to 18 mm STM na Canon na binenta ko na kasi you know I have two wide lenses and what would I do with that? So <laughs> ayun, binenta ko na isa. Ang gamit ko ngayon ay ang Tokina 11 to 16 lens na f2.8. Ang isa sa mga nagpapa-unique sa setup ko ay ang Viltrox EOS to EFM adapter. Speed booster, kumbaga. Yung speed booster, technically hack siya na makonvert yung sensor ko into full frame. But it doesn't mean automatically na full frame na yung capabilities ng camera ko. It's still the same APS-C camera. Um, nagkataon lang na nagkakaroon siya ng daya pagdating sa depth of field. Kasi yung bokeh na na-amplify nito is very different. Let's just say na since nga ang gamit ko is to 11 to 16, from f2.8 nagiging f2.0 siya. Kaya siya ganito ka blurred yung background ko. Kaya talagang nag-enjoy akong gamitin siya. Although, one drawback 
is that yung toki na 11 to 16 medyo maingay siya. So I had to pair it up with a mic that is um, much more better compared dito sa 3031. Kasi ito, nasasagap niya yung ingay ng autofocus ng toki na. But yung BM3031 na gamit ko ngayon na di battery siya, mas maganda. At masasabi ko lang no, quick comparison lang. Kasing level siya ng Rode Mic Pro Plus at Rode Mic Pro. Mas malaki nga lang siya doon sa dalawang mic na yun. You can buy it for a cheap price around 3,500 pesos yung presyo nun. At it goes around that. Also, back to my main setup. Ang gamit ko ay Joby Gorilla Pad 3K kit. Speed Booster, Tokina 11 to 16, Boya BY3031. Man, that's hard to pronounce sometimes. At naka ND filter ako. Don't forget the ND filter. Why did I chose this setup? It's because hindi ko siya expect actually. At ang una ko lang na setup noon is tong M50 10 to 18 STM lens at saka yung regular Canon adapter. Up until then natagpuan ko yung speed booster na kino-convert niya yung sensor into full frame. It's much more ideal para sa akin kasi kasi at the moment wala akong ideal na full frame camera na gusto kong bilhin. So I resorted to buying the M50. Kasi nga, meron siyang 4K capability, meron siyang 120 frames per second na 720p, which is still usable by the way. At since kinabitin ko siya ng speed booster, you have to keep in mind na kapag sinet ni yung lens, nyo, sa ele kasi nga, since 11 to 16, kapag sinet mo siya sa 11, ito yung tura nga. Boom. Meron siyang fish eye distorted effect, but you can use it. It's technically still usable. At lalo na, ito yun eh. Kapag ginamit yung fish eye version na to, at sinet nyo siya sa 4K, since yung 4K niya may crop, sobrang nakokontra niya yung crop. At magkakaroon ka ng 4K na M50 na nasa 15 mil. Ito yung sample. Siset natin sa 4K in 3, 2, 1. Boom! Naka 4K ako ngayon. Although ang weakness lang niya is kung narinig nyo, ang weakness niya is yung autofocus. Ewan ko kung bakit ginawa ng Canon to sa M50 na kapag nag 4K sobrang hina ng autofocus. Naka-contrast detect autofocus siya. So it's kind of a bummer. Although, one thing na pwede mong gawin is boom. Ayan, naka-focus na. It's still good. It's still usable. Um, kahit mag-manual focus ka kasi sit-down vlogs lang naman ang gagawin mo. Para sa akin ha, kung you're in question on how to use the 4K of this camera. Pairing it out with this kind of lens na 11 to 16 na tokina plus the speed booster, it's still really usable. Mahahack mo 4K at marerecommend ako lang na gamitin mo 4K pagdating sa sit-down vlogs. Huwag sa mga handheld motion dahil nga yung autofocus niya maghahanap tulad nito. Pinatay ko na yung autofocus kasi nagmanual na lang ako kasi na sit-down lang naman. Bumalik na tayo sa 1080 dahil baka mahirapan ako mag-edit. Yan, nakabalik na tayo. Yan, nakabalik na tayo sa, sa 1080. Wait lang ha. Autofocus na ulit. So yeah, that's basically my setup. If you want to upgrade your setup, this is the setup you can buy. If you're on a budget, which I am on a budget. At syempre guys, huwag nyo nang kalimutan mag-like, comment, share, at subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, maybe, yeah, tomorrow or, or later. Depending on how to upload, but daily vlogging challenge. It's almost done. We're down to episode 10. Five more episodes to go and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break but I'm loving you know these daily uploads so oh I almost forgot quick lang mabilisan lang lenses that I use 50 mil STM and yung Kamlan 50 mil uh, ito itong Kamlan 50 millimeter f1.1 pang kontra ng low light y you know watch the first episode at syempre kit lens that's all I hope I didn't miss anything like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out. <laughs> nandiyan ka pa? Baka nandiyan ka pa. Um, kung nandiyan ka pa, nakikinig ka pa. Um, kung pinapanood ng tropa ngayon, I know you've probably brushed out this video. Shoutout sa Cherries. I miss you. <laughs> Alam ko gusto mo ng shoutout. So, yeah. Namimiss ko na yung mga friends ko dyan sa Philippines. So, bisitahin niyo ako dito sa California, okay? <laughs> nandiyan ka pa? Ring mo ng notification bell para naman updated ka. Kasi naman eh, para updated ka, click mo na dito sa may baba. Click mo na rin yung subscribe para mabot tayo ng 600. Tapos next thing you know, 1K na tayo. So, I'll see you.
see you guys in the next vlog. Oh! Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out.